morning guys and welcome to another episode of Subnautica, one of the very final ones I hope <laughs> for this particular game. So for this one uh, there's a lot of comments flying about where is how to get the hatching enzyme and that is precisely what I'm going to show you on this video. So in terms of where we are, we are currently in the main Emperor's Lure. Uh, we want to sort of descend down right down to where the eggs are situated. Now there's going to be a couple of cutscenes uh, which I'm going to edit out just purely for speed but this is where we want to go. Now what do you recommend you have is a couple of iron cubes at hand. If you haven't don't worry about it I will show you where they are in this video. The other thing you're going to need is the drill piece for, the, well the drill arm for the prone suit. If you haven't got that, I advise you to take a look at the video show now, uh, visit that and that will show you exactly where it is. But without further ado, let's do it. So the first point you want to sort of do is put the iron cube in there, pretty obvious. That will then go to a cutscene. My and young we're going to go to this walk game. To play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to Make sure you do go into this walk gate. Because uh, this will then... She will then sort of come over, blow the sand away. And then you're that free to... I will too. give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. Once, once we've got here, the second iron cube goes in. You're then gonna get the recipe for the hatching enzyme. In now you may already have that. Indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. With the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must there we go, the hatching enzymes, right all good. And break free of their shells. So, what we're going to do now is, what the is we're going to make our way back up to, to the you. upper level. I give the um, and we're going to go from there. So, see you in two. Okay, so we've now come up into the upper chamber uh, through the main sort of pool area where we first came in contact with the Sea Emperor. So we're going to back, head back through the main chamber. Now this is uh, effectively, if you've visited these rooms, there's, uh, there's I think there's six or five, six in total. Now what we want to be doing is concentrating on these four doorways. Each one has a warp gate. As I mentioned earlier, you need the iron cubes. This is where you come for it. Obviously the drill piece is required. Now stock up on as much of this as possible. You can also need it for the end game. Uh, for, for that rocket launch and uh, so once we've got quite a number of pieces of that yeah okay we'll go into our first one so what do we need let's have a look at it so hatching uh, enzyme ghost weed bull bush fungal eye stalk so let's take our pick we'll go into the first left doorway One of the things with this uh, prawn suit is it's slow on dry land. Okay, so first iron cube goes in there. Let's open the warp gates. And we have appeared what looks to be, uh, well, possibly near the dunes somewhere so we're gonna have a look may well be the crag field it might be the mushroom forest I think yeah it's a mushroom forest so this now is gonna be the first place we're gonna hit um, and it's really simple so what we're what we're aiming to get from this get out is the fungal sample so get out of here 
and we're literally going to knife the mushrooms. And it's as simple as that. Check we've got it. There we go, fungal, fungal sample. Let's get back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to activate all the four chamber doors and then we're going to go to that scene uh, and I'll show you exactly where to go for the rest of the components of the CNC. Okay, so we're now in the right hand corner um, of the main chamber, that walk gate. We've now activated it. We're now going to proceed into this one. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the iron cubes, they replenish, so they do respawn. So you can drill away, drill away, and drill away, and generate as many as you need, and you're going to need them. So for this part, we're in the Lost River. And what we're looking for is, I believe, the uh, ghost weed seed. So it's a little bit more tricky to find. Uh, what I do recommend is that you leave the prawn suit at the main entrance and do it that way. Uh, there's a couple of nasties around, so do be careful. We'll just make our way through here and we're going to sort of get to this part here. Okay, so away we go. Yep, be careful of him. And then what we're looking for is exactly what it looks like on the picture. And I believe if you bear left, keep bearing left, there is one there. There we go. So it's really a case of knifing it. And that's it. Uh, that's a ghost weed. See you back in two again. Okay, so we're now at the third gate. We're going to slam the iron cube in there. Usually check the storage bin. Yep, there we go. Iron cube in there. Now we're going to go to our third gate. Now, what you'll be wondering is there are four gates, four warp gates, uh, and there's five plants. <laughs> and that's where the little trickery comes in. So I'll get to that shortly. Okay, so this should either spawn us in the bulb area or the, is it crag, crag fields? Uh, so again, whoa, let's be careful on this area. It's probably a hell of a lot quicker just to actually walk it. We'll work our way down, one direct path. Don't fall. Oh, we have fallen down there many a time. Um, try not to do that. Very frustrating. Okay, where are we now? It looks like the crag fields, I believe. Uh, yes, I think it is. So there is the main one. Straight out, they got eye stock. Be the careful of that, buddy. Get out of here quickly before we get attacked. And that's it. So one plant left to go. I'll see you back in two again. Okay, so we're now at the final warp gate. And this is it. So warp gate's over and done with once we've done this bit. Um, we've got one plant to do via these warp gates, which is a bull bush. And you guessed it, it's in the bulb area. Um, now you don't have to do them in this particular order, you can do them in any order you want, as long as you go to those four corners. Um, the other doorways lead to various rooms, worth exploring if you haven't already done that, but literally the warp gates are on the four corners. So we're now on our last section, I'm not too sure what that is down there, might be a bit of light. Um, so we're going to get this bull bush, very easy to find. Now, with a lot of these plants, you can actually do it um, before you come, sort of preempt it, before you actually do the whole Siempre thing. It is sort of a way to go, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so back at the main, main corridor, there in two. See you shortly. Okay, so we're now at the main corridor and we want to go back to where we came from, where the CMP is, where the eggs are, uh, and make our way back down there. We should have the four 
plant seeds or plant cut-offs if you like and we're gonna make our way back into this for the final final plant and then we're gonna hatch those babies so what we're looking out for now is these channels here small channels um, probably best off getting out of the, the actual prawn suit and then doing it via the sea glider um, and there's a couple of deep ones that we want to look for and then there we go there we go and I believe there we go that's your final plan which is the sea crown seed which I believe you won't find anywhere else Get a few of those just for good measure replant why not make our way back to the prawn suit okay guys so we now have all five seeds we're ready to go uh, but how do we craft the hatching enzyme wow a fabricator so bear this in mind when you're going through those warp gates you're going to need to decide on the closest location to a fabricator to one of your bases if you've got one base two uh, whether it be in the bulb zone near the lost river near the mushroom forest or the crag fields you may want to also have a fabricator on your cyclops and venture back it is a laborious task one of the quickest ways of doing it is to have all these components to hand before you come and do the see emperor quest but I highly doubt you're going to have that uh, as you're going to be watching this video no doubt uh, when you're in this uh, the sea emperor's base so without further ado uh, here's one i made earlier went back to the fabricator over the base near the mushroom fields and we're going to do it and there we go Ooh, come on come to daddy oh, he's... look at that and they've hatched oh my little friend and there they go so off they go to the warp gate eventually a little thank you from the mother and all is good and it was a lot of hard work to sort of get that a lot of laborious tasks uh, like I say you can actually do it um, preempt it if you're not within this area and get those seeds ready to hand and I'm gonna just watch this final end scene My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Thank Their you. freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current. Off my little friends, off into land. the ocean. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. Okay, what you're going to need to do once she's passed away is get these little concentrated fortitude enzymes. That will then clear you of the main bacteria that's infecting you. We'll just scan ourselves just to make sure. And all should be good. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. And there we go, guys. See, they've all gone through the warp gate uh, into the, I think, near the mountain biome. Uh, quite a dodgy place. But I'm going to, as for me, I'm going to go back for my Cyclops and get ready for the final ending. So, hope you liked the video, guys. It was a little bit long-winded. Um, but any comments likes more than welcome and why not subscribe that's it ciao for now bye bye